Remington, Old Timers Day, in the 22 DayAtTheRange.com Challenge. Coming up next. Hard hitter. Welcome, Range fans. Mr. Revolver Guy here with DayAtTheRange.com. Range fans, Reloaders Network and Rimfire Central. That's right, I shot myself out of the rabbit hole. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Only to continue along with the DayAtTheRange.com 22 challenge. Go over there, download the target. You'll find my email address where you can submit your target and entry. In submitting your target and entry, please include pictures of your rifle to tell the story. The pictures are what really tell the story. By the way, you get your own web page dedicated to you as part of the DayAtTheRange.com 22 challenge. Now, I've got these Remington old timers out here with me. We're starting out with the Remington Nylon 66. This thing has been squirreled away in a safe that was given to me by a dearly close friend that's no longer with us. And um, I just never shot this thing before. And it's a beauty. I'll give you some close ups. But those that are familiar with the Remington Nylon 66 know there are about 10 versions out there. This one happens to be the Remington Nylon 66 black diamond version. There is 50 to 60,000 of these made out of roughly the 700 to 800,000 that were made by Remington. What's pretty neat about this thing is everything on this rifle is pretty much nylon or plastic. The only metal pieces are the striker, the barrel, as well as the sights. Those are the only metal pieces, and, and Remington went in with nylon, or sorry, Remington went in with DuPont to create something that required very little milling um, and uh, something that was pretty cheap. The person that gave me this was the original owner, and as you can see and as you saw by the close-ups, this thing has not been shot much at all, and he gave me the original receipt. His original receipt from 1955 was $48 for this thing. Of course, it didn't come with the scope. I've got a 4X little pole scope on it. And again, the siding is stamped steel as well. But everything else, even internals, are plastic. Some say it was created. I don't know the if it's folklore or not, but some say it's created to operate in cold temperatures so that oil is not required and also supposedly with oil not being required it would be a cleaner 22 functioning below the freezing temperature you have nothing to freeze up because again folks everything is plastic and uh or everything is nylon the materials that dupont used if i get this right i believe was called like zytel 101 to formulate uh the stock the handguard and everything that goes along with it. And again, this one's in pristine condition. A lot say that this rifle is so light because it is very light. And you can join me over at dayattherange.com for the written review because I know you came here to see me shoot another uh, target in the 22dayattherange.com challenge. And, and that's what we're going to do. But there is one criticism around accuracy. No, it's not an excuse, fellas. But there are a lot that complain about accuracy. Some say it's so light that it's not really stable. You can't get good shots with it. I'm going to see. I put this 4X Loopy on it. I do have it sighted in. I got a target hung up down range. And we're going to take even the old time uh, Ely. I've got some Ely bench rest gold. And I've got some Ely practice 100 ammo. We're going to start with the 100 ammo. Uh, this thing will hold 14 rounds, load it from the butt stock, by the way. But uh, we're going to load 10 rounds, shoot five rounds off target, and then we'll put five rounds on target uh, just to see how it shoots with the Practice 100. And we'll do the same thing with the uh, Ely Benchrest Gold. This Ely Benchrest Gold is quite old. Price of $8.95. Sticker still on here. And this was premium ammunition back in the day to go along 
with the old rimfire rifles. You're gonna wanna hang in there and see the next Remington oldie but goodie coming up. Let's put some rounds down range. All right, first up in the Remington Nylon 66 Black Diamond is the Ely Practice 100. Back in the day, $2.95 for 50. I think that's pretty cool. And again, four power loopy. I can barely, folks, I am uh, altered the target just a tad. I put some orange dots up on the target downrange to see, to be able to see the center. Because uh, man, I almost forget what it's like to shoot with a true four power. This is a four power loopy. Let's get to it. This is like the coolest thing. Man, from the 1950s. I can see the diamonds pretty good. Let's see, off safe. The safety, by the way, is on the uh, butt stop or the tang of the receiver. Okay, spotters. All right, Remington Nylon 66 for score, left target. And by the way, you guys know the deal. Every time I come out here, that wind's going to be blowing something massive. All right, you saw the targets. We're going to get home and score those things. Uh, but before we do, we're going to shoot some Ely Benchrest Gold Necks with a price tag of $8.95 on it. And then we're going to break out the other old timer on the block. Be right back. Let's get this thing loaded up with some Ely Benchrest Gold. All right, folks. I got some of the Ely Benchrest Gold loaded up in the old Remington Nylon 66 Black Diamond. I've got 10 rounds loaded in the buttstock. It will take 14. We're going to put five on the spotter, and then let's get a tight, tight group of five on the official target. This would be, uh-oh, first time I had that happen. This Remington Nylon 66 will be going in the uh, vintage category, the scoped vintage category on deadtherange.com. And of course, you guys know every time I come out here, the wind has to pick up, right? All right, let's see if we can put five, five on the official target. Let's get relaxed back here. I think that should be it. And sure enough, that's it. We're going to place it on safe. We're going to head down range and take a look and see what the old grandpa can do. Stay tuned. All right, take a look, folks. I'm excited, excited. Remington Nylon 66 didn't do too bad. We're talking about a rifle from the 1950s. More made for the hunter in mind and to get children our kids involved with the hunting sport back then in the 1950s. 
But I tell you what, more than capable of a squirrel. This is the Ely 100. This is the Ely Gold bench rest. Now we're gonna head back and break out the other granddad and see how it does. Well, look at here, fellas. This is an old Remington 550-1. This is gonna be pretty exciting for me as this is something I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in and bluing it and also refinishing the stock. This thing was in pretty rough shape when I initially got it for under 50 bucks and thought, wow, what a plinker and some history we just don't want to lose out on. This Remington 550-1, there was two versions, a 550 and a 550-1. And again, please join me over at dayattherange.com for the write-up on the 550-1 and you could see some of the things that I've done to this rifle uh, and in an official written capacity. I try to leave the video footage for shooting. Uh, but anyways, what's really special about this and what I want to convey to you is that the Remington 550-1 is capable of shooting 22 short, 22 long rifle, and also 22 long. Stamped right on the barrel. By the way, earlier, the Remington Nylon 66, it has something a little unique also where there was a floating chamber in there that allows for you to shoot uh, 22 short, 22 long rifle as well. Unfortunately, I don't have any 22 longs. That's what I really wanted to try to do. I tried to scavenge some 22 long. I couldn't find any at home, thought I had some. Um, didn't have any, but I do know a friend who has some. So stay tuned because we're gonna get it back out on the range with some 22 short and see how it does at 50 yard line. Until then, we're gonna enter old granddad Remington 550-1 with some Ely practice and Ely bench rest gold. This thing is magazine tube fed. You can see how long this barrel is and uh, got a four power Nikon on it. Let's put it on the, put some spotters down range on the target and uh, see what it groups like. Be right back. All right, I got the old 550-1 Remington, the old timers edition on dayattherange.com. I got it loaded up with some old time Ely ammo, folks. Hey, you know what? Anybody out there, you know what? I'll show a close up of this. Anybody out there that can maybe date this ammo for me, that would be good. I know it's pretty old. It, it, it was saved in a basement. Um, that was a finished basement with heat and air, so, so in the proper conditions. But I noticed the wax has dried out pretty good on this ammunition. But anyways, I just thought it would be a neat, relaxing thing, day out on the range, uh, in the dayontherange.com 22 challenge with two old timers, the Remington Nylon 66 and the Remington 550-1, both with four power scopes on them and some old time Ely ammunition. Date that Ely ammunition for me. Put it down in the comments down below or come over to dayattherange.com and leave a comment. Let's put five rounds as a spotter and then five rounds on target. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see if my finishing job is worth anything. The looks, looks great. I had to do a lot of cleaning, but uh, let's see. Less than 50 bucks, folks, right here. Let's see what a $50 rifle, man, oh, man. I don't like this at all. My either my eyes are either shot or this four power scope. This Nikon four power, I don't know, is a little fuzzy for me at 50 yards. I can see the orange dot, so we're gonna go for it. All right, reliable. All right, now let's shoot for score here.
Five on target. I got to tell you, something's not right with this scope, folks. This thing shouldn't be this blurry. Ah, uh, that helps a bit. I'm just adjusting the eyepiece here in the rear to get the crosshairs clear. All right, let's go ahead and load up 10 rounds of Ely Benchrest Gold. We'll get that loaded up and uh, we'll show you what it can do on target. Remington 550-1, be right back. All right, we got 10 rounds of the Ely Benchrest Gold in the tube, one in the chamber, or nine rounds in the tube, one in the chamber. And we're gonna put it down on target. First five rounds, spotter. Last five rounds on target. Let's see here. <laughs> that just tickles me pink. I tell you folks, hey look, it doesn't take a whole lot. It doesn't take a whole lot to get out, have a little fun, especially with 22. I mean, this rifle to me is really something special because of the refinishing I did on the wood and also the bluing. But it's in perfect condition and you can see here, man, for a semi-auto, it's uh very reliable. Remington 550-1. Five rounds of Ely Gold on my orange target, bottom right. All right. Hey, let's go down range, take a look at those targets. Not quite sure. I don't know if my eyes are failing me with this Nikon or what, but uh, man, those diamonds are hard to see. It's clear and the scope is clear, but man, with a four power, 50 yards, good for hunting though. But let's check the targets. Folks, I'm tickle pink at the target. We're gonna get back and measure them and show the overall group size, but that's from the Remington 550-1. The Ely 100 Practice, that was $2.95 ammo back in the day. This was a little bit more expensive ammo at $8.95 from way back in the day. Man, vintage ammo and also a vintage rifle. There is just a lot of fun to be had with 22. Come over and join us in the 22dayatherange.com challenge. Woo! What a day. I'm digging it. Rimfire Central, Reloaders Network, and Range Fans. A cheap $50 rifle cannot be this reliable, can it? Let's see. I've got the tube as full as I can put it. Tickle pink. All right, Range fans, there you have it. Old timers on the range, including myself, for some of those old porch dogs over on the Reloaders Network. Range fans, Reloaders Network, and Rimfire Central. I had a blast on the range today. The old timers, Remington edition. I tell you what, folks, don't walk past granddad's old rifle and granddad's old ammunition and think, huh? What's the use? I'm telling you, it can be a lot of fun. Come join us over at dayatherange.com and also Reloaders Network to see more about the dayatherange.com 22 challenge. Signing out, folks.